Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at the top 5 best FPS performance mods for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.2 and we're actually going to take a look at both Forge and Fabric today. So we're going to take a look at the top 5 best Fabric FPS performance mods on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.2 and we're also going to take a look at the top 5 best Forge FPS performance mods on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.2. I have done other videos where I have specifically talked about Forge and Fabric but in today's video we are going to cover both of these mod loaders and we're going to take a look at the different mods that we can actually use for Fabric and for Forge to give us some nice FPS gains inside our Minecraft game on version 1.18.2. I am going to leave a link in the description where I am going to actually list all of the mods which I have talked about today and you guys can go to that link and just click on the different mods and you should be able to download each specific mod which I have talked about today. So do make sure to check out that link in the description, it will normally be the first link in the actual description. Alright so let's go ahead and take a look at the top 5 best fabric and forge FPS performance mods on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.2. Alright, so the first mod loader that we are going to look at today is Fabric and the first mod which I would actually recommend you guys get first of all is actually called Optifine and I would recommend you guys get the Optifabric mod so if I go into my mod section you guys can see that I do have Optifabric installed here and to actually get this working you do need to download Optifine and then save it into your mods folder. I have also done a Optifabric mod video where you guys actually can watch that video for more information on how to get Optifabric up and running. So the very first Thing I would do if you guys are getting into modding and you guys want to try and get some more performance inside your Minecraft game is to actually get Optifabric and then try out Optifine and see what kind of FPS you are getting inside your game. Now the next set of mods I am going to talk about some of them might not be compatible with Optifine so I would actually recommend if you guys have got Optifine and Optifabric installed is to disable Optifabric and Optifine and then use these other mods. Alright so the first Fabric FPS performance mod I would recommend you guys definitely check out is called the sodium so if I go into my mod section here you can see that I do have sodium installed and as you guys can see it says sodium is a free and open source optimization mod for Minecraft which improves frame rates and reduces lag spikes now on my system I am able to get three times the amount of FPS as I do normally get on my vanilla Minecraft so if you guys are getting low FPS for example if you guys are getting FPS below 60 or even below 30 then I would actually recommend you guys get sodium as well so if Optifine isn't working for you then definitely do get sodium and it should give you some nice FPS performance inside your Minecraft game. The next mod I would recommend that you guys get if you guys are going to get Sodium is called Sodium Extra. As you guys can see for Sodium Extra it says features that shouldn't be in Sodium and this is actually made by Flashy Reese. Sodium itself is made by the Caffeine MC group and this one is made by Jelly Squid but the Sodium Extra mod is made by a different mod author called Flashy Reese and basically if we go into our options here and go into video settings these are the normal video settings for sodium so we normally get the general quality performance and advanced menu sections here now what sodium extra does is that it adds different sections within sodium so we also get animations particles details render and extras so in the animations obviously we can go ahead and enable and disable specific animations or disable and enable all of them just by clicking these check boxes here and the same thing for particles as well we have loads of customization options here and the same thing for details as well you can change the sky stars sun and moon weather biome colors and sky colors as well in the render section there is a setting here for fog which I really do like to use if we go to the extra section we also can enable enable a FPS counter as well and it actually shows the extended version of the FPS counter so let me just apply that right now as you guys can see on the top left there it is showing me my FPS and I really do like this FPS counter because it actually gives me the average FPS as you guys can see in the middle there after max it does say average FPS so I do like this FPS counter and it's all thanks to the sodium extra mod so if you guys are going to get sodium then definitely do get the sodium extra mod you will be able to get all of these different cool settings as well as the normal sodium sodium settings as well that we can expect with the sodium mod and now we can get them with the sodium extra mod. The next fabric FPS performance mod I would recommend you guys check out is called ferrite core. Now ferrite core as you guys can see it says reduces memory usage so if you guys are running some heavy mod packs or you are struggling to get better memory optimization then definitely do get the ferrite core mod. I would recommend you guys get that one as well as the sodium and sodium extra mod. It is going to help you out with your RAM usage as well so definitely do get the ferrite core mod 
for Fabric on version 1.18.2. Another Fabric FPS performance mod to get is called Lithium. As you guys can see it says Lithium is a free and open source optimization mod for Minecraft which makes a wide range of performance improvements to the game. Now Lithium is really good for servers so if you guys are running a server you should definitely check out Lithium. Install that on your server and you should see a much better performance inside your server as well so you should get better TPS and you should get better performance on your servers as well. This also works well on single player as well so if you guys are using sodium so if you guys are using sodium and other mods then definitely do get lithium this is made by the same people who made sodium this is made by the caffeine mc group so definitely do check out the lithium mod it will help you out to get better performance inside your minecraft game and finally the next fabric fps performance mod i would recommend you guys get for version 1.18.2 is called starlight as you guys can see it says rewrites the light engine to fix lighting performance and lighting errors and if you guys install that alongside lithium and sodium as well and ferrite core then you should have a nice combination of a well-rounded mod pack that is going to give you some nice fps gains inside your minecraft game so definitely do get the starlight mod if you guys are looking to improve your fps inside your minecraft game all right so these have been the top five best fabric fps performance mods to get on minecraft java edition version 1.18.2 then let's jump over to the forge section and check out the best forge fps performance mods which we can currently get on our minecraft game all right so similar to the fabric mod loader the very first thing i would do if you guys are using forge is to try out optifine and see what kind of fps you guys are getting with optifine with forge now installing optifine on forge is really simple you don't actually need any extra mods all you need to do is just take the optifine mod file and place it inside your mods folder provided that you guys are running the up-to-date version of forge so let me just quickly show you guys if i click on mods over here you guys can see that the forge version that i am using right now is 40.0.54 and if I go into my options click on video settings if you have a look at the bottom left here you can see that I am running Optifine version HD H7 Ultra and this is on Minecraft Java edition version 1.18.2 so if you guys have a look on the top left there it does say Minecraft version 1.18.2 so you guys can see that Optifine works straight out of the box for Forge so if you guys are running a Forge mod pack or a Forge instance for example then the very first mod I would recommend you guys get is is Optifine and see how you get on with Optifine and what kind of FPS performance you are getting with Optifine installed. Alright so if Optifine is not working for you or you're not getting as better performance which you had hoped for then I would recommend the following five Forge FPS performance mods that we are going to take a look at today. So the very first Forge FPS performance mod I would recommend you guys check out is called Rubidium. You guys can see that this is an unofficial fork of the Sodium mod and it's made to work on the Forge mod loader. I have done a comparison video where I did compare the Rubidium Sodium fork for Forge versus the Sodium version of Fabric to see which one gives us the better performance and the difference was not that high to be honest if the fabric version gave 60 fps then the rubidium forge version gave 56 fps so the margin of difference there between both versions was not that high so if you guys are looking for a nice performance mod i would check out the rubidium sodium fork for forge which should be able to give you some nice performance inside your game if you guys are going to get the sodium port on the forge mod loader the next forge fps performance mod i would recommend you guys check out for version 1.18.2 is called starlight similar to the fabric version as you guys can see it says rewrite the light engine to fix lighting performance and lighting errors so if you guys are getting the rubidium sodium fork on the forge mod loader i would also recommend you guys get the starlight mod on the forge mod loader on version 1.18.2 the next Forge FPS performance mod I would also recommend you guys check out is called Ferrite Core. As you guys can see it says reduces memory usage. So this is going to give you some nice RAM memory optimization for your Forge mod loader game. So if you guys are running Forge on version 1.18.2 then definitely do get the Ferrite Core mod. It should help you with your memory usage optimizations as well. 
Another Forge FPS performance mod to get on version 1.18.2 is called Better Biome Blend. You guys can see that this is the Better Biome Blend. This is the Forge version and it says this mod increases the biome color blending radius and replaces the original blending algorithm with a more efficient one. So hopefully this should give you some better performance inside your Minecraft game. So if you guys are running the mods which I mentioned today on the Forge mod loader then definitely do get the Better Biome Blend as well. That should complement the other mods and give you some nice performance gains inside your Minecraft game on version 1.18.2. And finally, the next Forge FPS performance mod I would recommend you guys get is called Clumps. As you guys can see, it says Clumps XP Orbs together. And one thing that you will notice is that if you guys are picking up loads of different XP Orbs, you might see some stuttering or some lag inside your game. But this actually clumps it all together. So hopefully this should eliminate that type of lag when you guys are picking up loads of different XP Orbs. So do get the Clumps mod for the Forge mod loader on version 1.18.2. If you guys are wondering what kind of FPS monitoring mod I am using, I am using a mod called FPS Reducer and this actually allows us to display a FPS counter. If you enable the HUD option here, if you turn that to on, it actually displays a FPS counter on the top corner there as you guys can see and it's showing me my current FPS. If you guys are looking for a mod which shows the FPS on both Forge and Fabric then do check out the FPS Reducer mod that does have the capability to display your FPS. If you guys are looking for more Forge and Fabric FPS performance mods on version 1.18.2 or even the previous versions of Minecraft, for example 1.17.1, 1.16.5 or even 1.12.2, then do check out the Boosted FPS mod pack. I have actually gone ahead and released the Boosted FPS mod pack for both Forge and Fabric now and it also contains different versions as I mentioned. And these mod packs are actually packed with a lot of FPS performance mods inside the mod pack and you should be able to see some nice performance inside your Minecraft game. So if you guys are looking for loads of different performance mods inside your Minecraft Java game on either Forge or Fabric then definitely do check out the Boosted FPS mod pack. I will leave some links in the description where you guys can go to them and check out those mod packs as well. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about the best top five fabric and forge fps performance boosting mods then do leave them in the comment section below i will do my best to try and help you guys out please also do subscribe to the channel to help support to help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching